Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to graph this absolute value inequality. And you can see here our absolute value equation. And you can see here what I have is y equals 1 fourth absolute value of x minus 4 plus 3. So the first thing we want to do is identify what is going to be our new vertex. What are the kind of transformations that affect our graph? So we have the parent graph here, the table, and you can see the vertex here is at 0, 0. However, when we have transformations with the h and the k, that's going to be our new value of our vertex. So that's going to kind of tell us where our graph is going to be shifting left or right or up and down. We'll forget about the 1 fourth for a second. So remember, it's x opposite of h. So x opposite of 4 here is going to give us a vertex of 4, 3. That means instead of my vertex being at 0, 0, it's now going to be over 4, up 3. So I'm shifting my graph 4 units to the right and 3 units up. So I go 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 1, 2, 3. Okay? So now that is my new vertex. Now the next thing is I need to determine well, what is my 1 fourth going to be doing to my graph? Well, what the 1 fourth is going to be doing is that is going to be um, stretching horizontally my graph. Now there's a way I, we can kind of work on this as far as finding our points. Um, but I think the easiest way to kind of understand this is just to use a table of values to find two points. Because notice the absolute value graph has, is, has an axis of symmetry, right? It's reflexive over the y-axis. So if I can determine two points to the right, of the graph, I can reflect that over the axis symmetry to find two other points to the left, because I already know the vertex is at the point 4, 3. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose two values. And you're going you're gonna to have to kind of be careful with which values you choose. And again, it doesn't matter what values you do choose. But you're going to want to choose either two points to the left or two points to the right. Now, what I will say is I'm going to want to choose two points um, that are going to be very easy, that when I subtract them by 4, I can multiply them by 1 fourth. So my two values I'll pick here is we already have, so that's 1, 2, 3. Actually, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to add 3 anyways. Um, so let's do 2. So 1, 2, and 0. So I'll do 2 and 0. That's x and that's y. So now what I want to do is evaluate, well, what exactly are those values? So for my y value, when x equals 2. So I say x equals. 1 fourth absolute value of 2 minus 4 plus 3. So 2 minus 4 is negative 2. So I have 1 fourth absolute value of 2 minus 4 absolute value of negative 2. I guess I'll just do it one step at a time. Absolute value of negative 2 is 2. So 1 fourth times 2 plus 3. Well, 1 fourth times 2 is going to be 1 half. 1 half plus 3 is going to equal 3. 0.5, or 3 and 1 half. So over 2, I'm going to go up 1, 2, 3, and 1 half. Now let's go to 0. So let's plug in 0. So now I'll do the exact same thing. y equals 1 fourth times 0 minus 4 plus 3. So here I have 0. 0 times minus 4 is 4. 4 times uh, absolute value of negative 4 is 4. 4 times 1 fourth is equal to 1 plus 3 which equals 4. So when x equals 0, that means y equals 1, 2, 3, 4. So you can see, I kind of didn't do a good thing. But now, so that's really at 2, which is like right there. So you can see here, this is one side of my absolute value. Remember, there's an, a, there's an axis of symmetry. So I'll go over 2 units, go up 3.5, and go over 2 more, and that go up to 4. And now I have the rest of my absolute value equation. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you graph an absolute value equation. Thanks.